back. Well, Wreaths Across America is looking for volunteers again, and this time is to help for its wreath retirement. Here to tell us a little bit more about what the wreath retirement is and why they need some volunteers is Deborah Deegan with Wreaths Across America. Deborah, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So first off, for folks that aren't aware, I know that back in December we all helped put out the wreaths, but what is the wreath retirement? Uh, wreath retirement is us removing them from the headstones and cleaning up the cemetery to keep it beautiful mm -hmm. for those who are interred there. So I know that obviously, you know, things had to get moved around a little bit because of the weather and tomorrow the weather's going to be rainy, but this is a rain or shine event, right? Well, to be honest, you know, neg uh, 21 degrees last weekend versus 65 degrees tomorrow with a little bit of rain. I think we can tolerate that a little bit more than 21. Absolutely, <laughs> because last weekend that was rough for us around here. It absolutely but I know was. that this is open to anybody and everybody. So anybody can just show up, whether it's a troop that wants to come help or just a person that wants to get involved, right? Definitely. Um, like I said, the biggest thing is getting it cleaned up in a quick and timely manner. Mm -hmm. um, we ask that people bring pickup trucks, but the biggest thing is to bring a rake. Um, and I know it sounds strange, but you can actually take a rake, turn it backwards, and do about anywhere from 10 to 20 wreaths on that uh, rake and then haul it away. So it moves a lot quicker. Um, I believe last year we did it in just about two hours, oh, wow. um, getting it cleaned up so people can come out at nine o'clock in the morning and they'd still have the rest of their day to do whatever they need to do. Absolutely. Well, is there a certain place they need to meet you um, for all of this? So we're going to do the historic side, uh, meet at the historic side, and there's a brown barn just mm -hmm. down um, the hill. Uh, we're all going to meet there, and then we're going to disperse from there and kind of um, tackle all areas of the cemetery on the new and annex side as well. And I know you mentioned that a pickup truck is great to have, maybe even a rake too, but what else can folks bring to help make this go a little bit faster? Um, it, just bring people with you because, mm -hmm. um, like I said, I think we did the um, the actual all of the wreaths down, which was um, 15,144. Um, we did that in just over two hours. So if we can have the same turnaround, you know, you can feel good about having helped out um, in a community event mm -hmm. and then still go about your day. But we ask that, you know, if it is raining, people do bring rain gear and stuff like that so they can stay dry. Absolutely. Well, is there anything else that folks need to know about this tomorrow before they hopefully come out and help you out? Uh, no, we just appreciate everybody's help. We also want to thank everybody um, from the corporate donations to all the individual donations to all the volunteers that came out on December 17th and helped us. Um, we couldn't have gotten to where we got this year without everybody's help. So we greatly appreciate the community support. Absolutely. Well, Deborah, thank you so much for joining us here on First at thank Four. You. And again, here are those details one more time. The wreath retirement is happening tomorrow at 9 a.m. No need to sign up to volunteer. Just show up and, of course, bring some friends.